My research engages with um, two main themes. First of all, it's a general theme of human rights and how human rights are authored and practiced within the regions. But specifically, I look at the right to life and the questions of the death penalty. And what I've done is um, written articles on the death penalty and those articles have been used in some of the leading scholarship in the world. And secondly, I've been asked to participate in some of the regions of the world and how they review their human rights policies. Such as in 2010, I was on the legislative panel which helped form policies for the European External Action Service in the European Commission. And we wrote um, advisory guidelines for the, um, the High Commissioner, Catherine Ashton, and how she should uh, perform her role in the world when people are condemned to death and when executions are arising. Well, um, to find out how we can achieve a world without the death penalty would, would be one good aim. Uh, and what do I hope to achieve? Well, it's to um, understand how policies at both the judicial and the legislative-led level can be used to achieve that goal, a world without the death penalty. And so what my work does is to contribute to that aspiration, to that goal, as it, as it fits into the United Nations, the European Union, and more personally in, in, in our country, how the British government adopts its policies when communicating with countries around the world that impose the death penalty. My work helps to make sure that what is stated and communicated to those governments is practical and also in line with human rights policies. The death penalty as it's imposed um, causes a brutalisation in society in those countries that it is imposed. So I would argue that those people who are in those countries benefit from having a world which is more governed by common humanitarian values. The death penalty is an archaic punishment in which imposes um, institutions, institutional pressure that does not allow for human rights to be observed. And that's not just the human rights of those people who are charged with crimes, but really it's the human rights of the wider community around uh, those prisons that have execution chambers, but also in the country of a whole. So those countries will benefit from, from the research. Secondly, of course, um, at the institutional levels of the, what I've talked about, the EU, the European uh, Union, the United Nations and the Council of Europe and the British government, those institutions benefit from my research and others' research on how they can more clearly expose the human rights policies to the world. And currently we have a recent review in the United Nations General Assembly on the moratorium of the death penalty and we're working to solidify that moratorium in the General Assembly and my work helps to contribute to that as well. <laughs>